please oh i'm not condemning our african culture i'm just saying i don't think it's fair and i don't think it's right we hey fam welcome back to our channel how are you all doing so i just hello. got back from work mia oh yeah hello hello Hello. <laughs> okay i will explain that i just got back from work like basically these kids they've been waiting for me to like get back from work because their grannies my parents in law hey. sent a package mm -hmm. for them so They've been waiting for me to get home so we can open it up. Hey, Ricky, you're so impatient. He's asking me, should I show you guys um, if he should show you guys the package? So wait, where is Papa now? We cannot open the package without Papa. Papa, how far now? We didn't eat it tonight. I will eat. We will eat. I know we will eat. Okay, he's asking me. I'm not going to eat tonight because. Ooh, see now, see now. Yes, yes. Husband material, hundred yards. Yeah, husband material. Say hello to our fans now. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, guys, hmm. Let's open this thing before. Okay. Okay, bring the the package. Bring the package. Yes. Huh? Mm hmm. Okay, let's open it up. Papa, bring, Papa, please bring the scissors. Oh, sorry. Mama. Ah, look at what impatience is making this these children do. Look at the way they are tearing everything up. Eh? I want to that you Oh yeah, no. Let's. No, 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 several are for me. The light turns into the sun and the corner. Ma che era arrivata la corriera? Non è giusto. Perché non va lì. Wait, let me take this away. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, I love you. Thank you, I love you. Mia said, thank you, I love you. Mia, you're a good girl. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, Mia, yeah. easy now. Let's look at what. Okay, this is a towel for going to the pool or going to the beach. This is for Mia. And this is for Ricky. This is a towel for going to the beach or for going to the pool. Look at that. Mia, this is nice. Mia, di grazie, nonni. Grazie, nonni. Ecco. <laughs> Ricky, what is that? Wow. Ooh, but this is cool, Ricky. C'è anche un altro. Oh my God, Ricky got something huge. Oh my God, Ricky, you're ready to go to primary school. So look at what wow. um, nonni got for him. Look at what his grandparents got for a school bag for a boy that is going to primary one. Are you happy, baby? <laughs> Would you say thank you to Nonni? Thanks. Thanks. Happy and this one, and this as well. This one is for putting in a. Uh, oh, they already bought him everything. Ma questi vengono già insieme o le hanno comprati? Wow. So this has everything in there already. Okay, well this is the ruler. These are the this is the blue pencil, daddy. this is the red daddy. pen and the blue pen. And this is the scissors. And this is the cleaner. Oh. Uh oh. oh. Mia Abuto. Ah, me also got a school bag. Me, I didn't know you got a school bag, Mama. <laughs> I didn't know you got a school bag. Wow. Wow. No, no, it's a cavallo. See, it's a unicorn. This is beautiful. Ah. Oh, yeah, wait now. Where is Turn your back. Mia, turn your back. Start reprinting the lost Oh, you look good, Mama. You look good, Mama. Ricky, 
Oh, okay, look at that. This has basically everything in there, all the colors. All the colors. Uh oh, Mia, you have something else. Wow, wow. my ear love a bit though. Mia, let me see now. Try. Let me see, Mama. Ha fatto lo zaino, ho visto come dentro. Apri lo zaino. Ricky, let me see, let me see. Turn your back. Metti di nuovo, non l'avevo visto bene. Cosa ho Braccialetti di Mia. Wow. Metti. Oh. 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 <laughs> Students that will wear jewelry to school. Eh? Papa, where are you going with that? Where are you going with all that? The butare. The But you should answer me in English now. You should answer me in English language. I'm putting this in the garbage. You're putting this in the garbage. Wow! Guys, did you hear that? But you have to speak loud now. You have to be, you know, speak out. Wow, that is speaking English these days. Man, you won't try. Okay. Ricky, these things are... All these are beautiful. Mama. Say thank you to Nonni. Grazie. Grazie, Nonna. Grazie, Nonno. Mama, thanks. Grandpa, Grandma. Wow! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe my son just made a sentence in English language. Oh my goodness! Nana. I'm so proud of you, baby. Come Nana. here. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Nana. Ah, Mia, why are you putting it on the floor now? Wow. Wow. Bellissimo. Posso fare tutto che voglio io. Certo, amore, certo. Oh my god. The Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> Mia, you look nice. Oh. Dopo potevo vedere Eh sì. Ok, lo faccio vedere la maestra. Sì, se vuoi. <laughs> Lo porti a scuola la prossima settimana, ok? okay. Thank you so much to grandparents. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Bye -bye. We appreciate you. Grazie mille, nonni. Lo apprezziamo tanto. You see, this is something. <laughs> this is really something I appreciate about the Italians. You know, so when they fuck up. I I say it the way there's like I don't mind swears when they really do the things that you know that I'm not comfortable with I say it but there are things that they also do that I really appreciate culture sort of where they you know they keep taking care of their own like they keep taking care of their children as long as they are alive they don't think that they've trained you to a certain age or to a certain stage and you should now do things yourself whenever you still need them they are like still there they are still working hard saving money for their children even saving for their children's children do you get it's not like i don't know if i'm explaining it right like it's different in africa because in nigeria to be precise we have this mentality where our parents feel or think that they train a child to a certain age after which a child will not start taking care of the parents so sometimes you know it's a, a little bit of a heavy load for for the children because that child will grow up get married have their own child they have already their responsibility and they'll still have to be thinking of you know taking care of their parents back home but italians are not like that italians even at the age my husband is right now, the parents still want to do stuff for him. They still want to buy him tickets to come and visit them. They still want to buy every Christmas, every birthday, they buy things for their grandchildren. They send stuff down here. So because Ricardo, it's not their birthday and it's not Christmas. Because they are starting a new school in September. Because Ricardo is going to primary one in September, they bought him gifts. They bought him a school bag, you know. 
it's just something I love about them. Okay, they, they even if they are working and they are earning little, they use that little they earn for their children and for their grandkids. You get well back home in Africa. The load is on us, the children, to start taking care of, care of our parents. Not that it's a bad thing, but I just feel like that mentality um, of entitlement is not fair on the kids. Now, I still want to get to the stage where, you know, I will still be useful to my children, like, you know, in 30, 40 years or whatever, that they need money for something, I can still stand and say, okay, come and take this. You know, I don't want them to ever see me as, you know, an extra stress, an extra um, expense, an extra responsibility. I want them to see me as a solution. You see Italians, uh, when their children are about to, you know, buy their first house, they contribute to it. They all of a sudden come out with like 20,000 euros, 30,000 euros and say, okay, take as a down payment for the house you're about to acquire, you know, before they will not give you the mortgage, like the rest of the fees you pay every month for like 15 or 20 years. But in Africa, how many of us will want to buy a house and our parents will come out with 10 million naira or 15 million to give to you, except the rich ones, obviously. For the average family back home, 80, 90% of families back home believe in that mentality of, ah, I, I gave birth to you, I've trained you. Now come and take care of me. It's too much now sometimes. Eh? It's too much. And I feel like it's we that are beginning to understand that this isn't fair on the children. We are the ones to start breaking this. You know, this thing that keeps repeating. I want to be the one to give to my children. Say, who knows, in 10, 15 years time, they want to buy a house. They want to do something. They can count on me to give them a down payment. Grandma, grandpa. Okay, you did well. So I want to be able to tell my children, okay, I'm gonna give you twenty thousand euros as you know, as a support to whatever thing you wanna do. You know, I, I wanna be that. I don't want them to see me as you know, they shouldn't take care of me. Let me be the one taking care of them. Let me be the one to you know that whenever they call on me, I can bring out something and say, Okay, take. I don't want to be an extra load for my children and that is why we're working hard to make sure that we give them the future that they deserve please though i'm not condemning our african culture i'm just saying i don't think it's fair and i don't think it's right we all have our different opinions if you have the money to care for your family friends parents, siblings, aunties, uncles, because all those people expect from you to not just your parents. Please do it. I don't say don't do it. I'm not saying don't do it because there's a joy you get when you do things for people, when you give to your parents, when you give to your siblings and your neighbors. There's a kind of joy that you get that you can buy from the market. But I'm just saying that that spirit of entitlement shouldn't be there. There shouldn't be this you know you you must do it is a responsibility that you have to you must do you know let's let's break this nuisance it's not it's not fair so at the end of the last last everybody do it with it consign them i'm not advising you you know come and say love said anyways i just wanted to say one thing i appreciate about the talents and one thing i dislike about my african nigerian culture so don't quote me wrong go but if you quote me wrong now you sabi don't mind me so thank you so much guys i love and appreciate all of you let me go have my bath and then we come and eat dinner see you on my next video you are loved and appreciated Mwah.